All right, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, use the Cambium Network updating tool. Uh, first thing you need to do is make sure you have it on the hard drive on your computer. As you see here, um, just go to a Google and do a simple Google search for Cambium Network Updater Tool. It's the quickest way to find it. Click the link. If you don't have a Cambium account already or a profile with the Cambium Network page, uh, you will need to create one oh, there we go now that it registered there okay so you see this is a page it'll link you to just download the CNUT app Following the instructions, it will leave an icon that looks like this here on your computer. You'll open it up. Click no for this specific purposes. Make sure you do have an SM connected. Up here at the top, you'll see File, Edit, View, Update, Tools, and Help. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to go and do is you wanna add an element to your network root. So you go to Edit, Add Elements to Network Root. And depending on the IP, the default IP, that's what you'll come down here where it says element host names under discovery targets. There you'll put the 169.254.1.1 when you're doing 450s or 450Bs. And then you will hit OK. And I already have mine set. And once you hit OK, it'll populate this little tab here, this element or branch off of the network root. Make sure you select it, because that's what we're gonna be updating. Go to your update, and then manage packages. Once that populates, mine is already listed here, because we're using the Canopy 16.2.1 uh, build STA on our current upgrader flashing. Um, to add additional firmware, you hit add and it's going to take you to known firmwares for that. You're not going to have to browse around your whole computer. It's going to take you to, to, it will only show you the files that are compatible with the updater tool. And then you select the one you want. So right now we're using this one. So hit that and hit open and it will then add it to your manage packaging, manage package screen. Now, if you're swapping back and forth between radios, the same concept, just hit remove. And as long as the check mark is here, it will remove the one that is, ch that is checked. You can add multiple firmwares here and only check the one you wanna use at the time. Let's close that since we have it ready. Uh, now I do all of my radios from a default status. I find it's the easiest with no, no worries about some kind of something happened that's not supposed to happen and that it goes through uh, cleanly every time. So you go back to update, go to update selected network elements, hit it. It's going to say, ask you this, you say, yes, you do want to do that. may need to turn the Wi-Fi off for this, but no, it's picked it up. You see here where it has 25%. Keep an eye on that. Um, it'll start at 25, go to 50, go to 75, and usually at 75%, it will start uh, a multiple reboot process, at which time it will be completed. If you look at that and it jumps, if it goes to 25 and then just jumps right to 100%, 
there could be a setting in the radio that is preventing it from doing the firmware upgrade. So you'll need to default that radio all the way out, return it to factory default settings, and then start the process again and update the radio. Um, sometimes radios will not accept the upgrade. Um, it is rare and it happens more on a remote than it does uh, locally, but it is electronics and it is something that happens. So you see how we're at 75%. If you look down in here, this is all the information you need. And here it says update completed. Fail to reboot, retrying with HTTP request. Now it says device rebooted successfully. And it shows you which, if you get in there to read, you'll see which build you're doing. So make sure you're doing it right. So you see right here, it says, can it be 16 do 16 to underscore one build SCA. So that's the 16.2.1 with the SDA build. Once it reboots a couple of times, then you'll be able to get back in to access the radio. And then you will check your firmware on the home screen to make sure that it updated correctly to the correct, uh, to the current firmware that you're creating. It's as simple as that. And that's how you flash a radio forward.